I seen a guy tell a theory in the comment section. Yeah. And then after he did the theory, he put that like asterisk. And it was like, uh, Travis, Scott, uh, Travis Scott noise. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Scott noise. We're just known for that, I guess. Once you tell a theory, you have to push that button. Or so Yo, who's really doing it like us, bro? Not really. <laughs> nah, man. We stay humble and shit. I'm changing the game. How? <laughs> Yo. Like honestly, I watch a lot of podcasts, right? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not trying to big up like ourselves too much. Yeah. Like it does sound cocky. Yeah. I was like, yo, Carlos, chill out. <laughs> no, nah, but like, I really want to do something different, you know. And I feel that's what that's what we we're we're able to do. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's the there's uh just videos of like theories and stuff, mm -hmm. but you don't really. There's no not a lot of podcasts where it's just like okay you can just talk about. it. I mean maybe there is okay, but Joe like, Rogan but like Joe Rogan's a different level though. Yeah, Joe Rogan's like super like Joe Rogan's been in the game for years. Yeah, like, I don't I don't think people really bag it, but like Facts. Joe Rogan's been in the game for probably like fifteen years, yeah. right? Taken, I didn't know what Joe Rogan was like what what he did. You didn't know that he's a trainer. No, Joe Rogan started as as like an announcer and like a TV host. Yeah, but I swear he he does UFC though. He like trains. Yeah. No, no, no. When he's like, as a kid, he used to do Taekwondo. Oh, he's real? a Taekwondo champion. For real. Yeah. What? You didn't know that? No, I didn't know. I thought because I've seen a, a video where he like kicks a bag and something and, and he teaches other of like self-defense. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. shoot. Yeah. He, like, he's, he's valid. He's like, he trains too. Yeah. Especially being in the UFC. He's yeah, going to yeah. get motivated all the time to I fight. Thought, you know? I thought he was just a guy that did a podcast and just. Is what? You're tripping. And completely woke to. I knew the announcer part, but I didn't. That's you never the, watched Fear Factor? Yeah, I watched Fear Factor. He was the he was the thing on it. Yeah, he was the host of Fear yeah, Factor. Yeah, but I thought yeah. that's all he did. He was just like a the television like, what do you call that? Like a TV show host. Yeah, like that's it. I didn't know like he did like he was a Taekwondo champion like that stuff like that. Yeah, bro, Joe, Joe Rogan's like a real character still. So. Yeah, shout out, big up Joe, Joe Rogan. Nah, for real, he's he's the biggest in the world. Yeah, nobody else is doing it like Joe Rogan. Bro, Joe Rogan's Spotify, the biggest. Spotify bought out his thing, right? Yeah. Because my my dad came up to uh, me in my room. He's like, yeah. yo, can we buy Spotify? Because Joe Rogan's stuff is not on YouTube anymore. It's just clips. Oh, you want to buy Spotify yeah, yeah, for yeah. Joe Rogan? He's like, he's like, yo, we have to buy it, bro. Cause yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, he watches all the time. When I go downstairs, he's always playing it. Mm. It's either ours or... or Joe Rogan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We like those. Soon we're going to be on it. Soon, take it. Soon we're going to be... Uh, talking about the shrooms and shit on, on Joe Rogan That'd be podcast. crazy. Yeah. That'd be like a dream come true. No, it probably will. Because you know what really got me into podcasts? Oh, who? When I was when I was making my socks for Wico Studios. Oh, yeah? Bro, I had to press. I, I make oh, every yeah. single pair by myself. Mm -hmm. You told me this. Yeah, mm -hmm. until like I hired my sister later on. Yeah, yeah. But like the beginning <laughs> few stages of my business, yeah. I was making every single sock by no, myself. Facts. And that shit took six hours plus yeah right and i'm doing like manual labor mm -hmm. bro i didn't just want to do that and like no music nothing's no, no. playing <laughs> you can't you can't it's yeah. too boring bro. even even music music gets tiring oh, after a it while does, bro it does because it starts feeling like you know when you're at work and you yeah. hear the radio and shit it's just annoying it yeah gets annoying. it just gets annoying so yeah. i'm like nah i gotta listen to podcasts yeah. so that's when i got into joe rogan really mm -hmm. so i listened to like all the the celebrities my favorite celebrities like post malone is on there oh shoot uh jamie fox is on there yeah yeah, yeah. i mean mm -hmm. and even the 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 cool ones because i watch his clips too yeah, yeah i think i watch his clips before i watch the full ones uh-huh because oh, just the clips yeah cause yeah, yeah. The clips are more entertaining than yeah the, full ones. The, the the clips had some fire yeah, yeah no, no. <laughs> so that got me into into seeing like more of the unknown guests but not really unknown but mm -hmm. for 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 my my viewpoint, right? Because yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna look for these like scientists and stuff. That's true. But the fact that he has those clips with all of that content, yeah. like that really got me into it. Not so I would watch too. all the Joe Rogan episodes, yeah. like whenever it, it came on, and just do my work while doing yeah. it. Because you can't, you really can't do it with music, bro. Like my head started to hurt, and I, yeah. I watched. The only things I watch is either a podcast. I don't watch Joe Rogan. I didn't. No? Watch, I watched just. Uh, do you know Kerwin Frost? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched all his interviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, Kerwin Frost is sick, but. His the way he speaks, it kind of turns 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 it off for really? me. Like, yeah. It's so funny to me. Just the way he speaks is kind of like weird, but it's funny to me. That's what makes it him, you know. I guess so, but it's less informative because yeah, when, when I watch something, I really want to learn. Yeah, you know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> me, me, I'll, I'll really just okay, just funny stuff, bro. Just make me laugh while I'm doing. Keep me entertained. Yeah, that's true. Know? That's true. That's because true. if you're ever ever at a current Frost interview, he'll make it feel so awkward. He'll be like, he'll pause. 
He'll pause, he'll yeah, pause yeah. it. He'll, he won't be ready for anything. Mm. He'll pause and think of the questions on the spot. <laughs> what? So imagine an interviewer who doesn't know what he's doing and he's interviewing. That's this guy's just unserious. Yeah, exactly. That's fact. <laughs> but it's, it's lit because he has those connections. You know, he has those yeah. those special guests that oh, yeah. like a regular podcaster couldn't get. Yeah. And that's what makes it so sick. Because yeah, it's it's kind of, um, I don't want to say it's, it's non try hard, but it's like, it yeah he's it's, not he's not trying it's not trying at it's all. so it's super natural yeah, yeah. and it's super like he has he has all of these celebrities <laughs> and stuff that can come on Facts. it's I so just, different yeah because mm. the, the the celebrities that come on just carry it yeah because they just talk that's all they do and you know what like even interviewers on tv uh-huh. let's say jimmy kimmel like oh, all of these talk yeah, show hosts yeah. they all hit them with like the same type of things you yeah, know yeah it's always the same like Wow, blah, 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 yeah. fake laugh, fake laugh, facts, fake laugh. Facts. You know what I mean? But Kerwin Frosty brings it to a level where it's like, <laughs> yo, let's what, just shoot you, the what, shit. What'd you eat today, fam? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that's Yeah, shoot it. the shit. Yeah. That's kind of what we do too, you know? Kind of, we just wing it. Yeah, we just wing it. Like, you know, you can, when you're watching it, someone told me that they they, they feel they feel so related that they're in our conversation. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, like somebody, somebody, my friend texted me, he's like, Texts me throughout the podcast. Yeah, like text me like, oh, she chimes in. Yeah, she's like, yo, I'm really, I'm like, please get me in this conversation. <laughs> but yeah, it's literally just chill, bro. Yeah, fam. Because the way we started this podcast, we're like, because we we don't talk a lot, we don't link a lot. Yeah. outside of thing, mm. but when we do talk, when when I get that three a.m. Uh, call from Carlos. Yeah, it can I'm go all, on for like hours. It can go. We can be up until like six a.m. talking about some <laughs> next so, stuff. Some man. next stuff. I know, but that that's why it works so well because our chemistry is just like yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, I take it. I told, <laughs> I told half of them that I just met you a week ago. What? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, and and the and the live, and they believed it. Why? <laughs> They're like, yo, are you are you guys this brothers? Makes, are, you guys brothers? <laughs> are you guys brothers? Nah, I'm that makes no like, sense. Nah, they, cause we we made the fucking podcast like last month. Yeah, damn, it's already been a month. Yeah, it's like it's like a month. It's coming up a month and a week or yes, something sir, like we that. Like those. Cause I was looking at the YouTube analytics. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, <laughs> went from zero to one hundred fifty-seven. That's so crazy. Something. The support has been so fucking mm-hmm. crazy, man. Yeah, like on our like we talked about this in our call in one of our calls. Mm-hmm. We're like, yo. Like just wait, man. We're gonna we're gonna do cra- we're gonna go crazy. Yeah, bro. This is a dream. Yeah. This as long as you believe in it and just keep working. Yeah. You can do anything, bro. I know. Anything. But yeah, and on TikTok, we're just if you do hashtag podcast, mm-hmm. <laughs> our faces are at the top. That's so sick. To me. <laughs> That's so sick. To me. I don't know. I don't know why people weren't using hashtag podcast like that. I don't know either. Right? Like yeah. I was looking at the content. There's some fire no, podcasts on there. There's Yo, some fire know, podcasts. You know, um, the Omegle guys? Yeah, yeah, When yeah. they go on Omegle and just start a podcast with random That's dope. That's, That's, dope. So yeah, That's so sick. That's so sick. We should go on Omegle one time. No, we should. You know a video I wanted to do was just uh, try picking up shorties on Omegle? Picking up shorties on Omegle? Ah, yeah. oh, then I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts. But Not yeah, allowed. Get, get all, our, all our boys to do it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I can do it either. I'm cuffed too. <laughs> kidding. Are you? No, nah, I'm not. No? Nah? How's, how's Shorty saying? What's huh? she saying? Nothing, bro. We're chilling, man. Yeah. I don't, bro, it, since it is cuffing season, so. You gonna cough? Nah. Nah? nah? Not this year, bro. Oh, okay. I'm focused on my stuff. You know this. Yeah. We're just, we're just focused on the money, you know? Yeah, but if, if something, if you feel something, don't, don't just let it go. Yeah, obviously. You know? Yeah. That's some, that's some real advice I can give for someone. Yeah. Like, even though you're set on your bag, you're set on this and that. Yeah. Don't forget about the journey as in having fun. Yeah, yeah, facts. I mean, because yeah. nothing's forever. Like, tomorrow's not promised. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to regret, like, oh, maybe maybe I would have been happy, like, with that girl. Oh, I? Yeah, but, yo, my friend Antoine just says, yo, we're in your prime years, fam. You don't got to cuff right now. <laughs> and yeah, that yeah, always yeah. runs through my mind. I'm like, nah, that's facts. Let me have fun but, first. Yeah, but everybody's different, right? Like, yeah. some people, their happiness is being in a relationship like that. Yeah. Some people, their happiness is just, like, fucking around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but yeah, me, I don't know. I've been through the relationship side. I was like, nah, let me just chill for for a bit, you know. Yeah, it's not that's it fair. Right that's away. fair. Because <laughs> I don't want to rush nothing, bro. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Plus, with COVID, like, who are you really seeing? Exactly. <laughs> unless you're on like, uh, yeah, unless because I'm never gonna go on a on a dating app. That's just not me. Why not? I don't know. It's just like I don't want other people to see me on that dating app. Like you know, Why? I, I don't know. It's just weird, bro. Like imagine seeing one of people. You're too you shy. Know, yeah, it's, it's just like, yo, are you that desperate type thing? But what? it's not it's not that No, nah, you just have to be confident, bro. Like you're on there for a reason. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. If if you go in with that mindset, then shit. Like 
you're not gonna get no match. <laughs> you yeah, know what no, you I'm have to go in the mindset it. that like I'm here yeah. to get. <laughs> period. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. That's the mindset you have to go into. No, you feel that's me? Facts, but like, yeah, I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm good. Like, it's not I like know. it's not like oh, I'm so desperate. I have to do this. <laughs> no, nah, it's like this is the easier way to do it. Feel <laughs> me? <laughs> no, it's, it's funny because like people, I know people like send me screenshots of like girls I talk to and they're yeah. on Twitter, uh, on Tinder and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. I just don't want that to be me, bro. What do you mean? I don't know. I just don't want to. Nah, I'll just stay away from. I know I'm cap. I'm capable. All right, all right, think about it like this. Think about it like this. <laughs> Would you rather catch fish with your hands or with a net? Okay. But like, <laughs> no, I know. No, but, but like, what if I have? No, but that's. Not, what's that's your comeback? What's your comeback for that? The same thing, How is that not bro? the same thing? Because I'm not that desperate to go and and catch. Fish. I don't need it right now. I don't need the fish. I'm not hungry. I'm full. No, nah, but like that's not the point, bro. No, it is. It that's is. not the point. I'm full, bro. The point. The point is like, are you gonna use your bare hands? Or are you gonna use a tool to help you get it? Okay, obviously the tool, but like I, exactly. I, I I know I'm capable of getting it with my hands. Okay, then yes, go. <laughs> Go, <laughs> like, yeah. you feel me? No, but that, that's how I th- that's how I think about like with everything, whether it be like business. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the harder path. I'm gonna use what works. Yeah. Like pride aside, you know what I mean? Like yeah. who care? I don't give a shit what anyone else thinks. Like if I'm winning, I'm winning. The only people that hate on the winners, yeah. I've, like yeah. anyone that says, "Oh, you're a sellout, you're a sellout." Yeah. Name one winner that called someone a sellout. Name one okay. winner that called someone sellout. I couldn't name out the top. Of my no head, winners so. called people sellouts because they know what it takes to win. Facts. Yeah, you know? yeah. I remember uh, everyone. Everyone was like, "Yo, this guy Carlos hopped on TikTok and blew up from TikTok, right?" Yeah. And now the same man. <laughs> Yo, follow me on TikTok. I know. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> out of here, bro. Man's are like, "Yo, I'm not, I'm not really about that TikTok yeah, stuff." Facts. And then, like months later, yeah, these man. guys are like. Oh, yo, follow yeah, me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. Let's get this bread, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, we, we can't even blame it at the same time. Like, you, can't, you, can't blame, you can't blame the hustle because that's how it gets done. Exactly. But at the same time, you shouldn't be knocking on anybody's grind. Yeah, like, exactly. if you're knocking on somebody's grind. I, I'm not, I'm never the type, the one to, like, oh, if you're doing that, if you're getting your money, then good, good on you, fam. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, what am I to say that, bro? Mm-hmm. But, yeah. But, yeah, dating apps, I'm going to stay away. I know I'm capable. Once quarantine ends, if we go back to Ryerson, yeah, jeez, it's over. I doubt we're gonna get in there again, bro. Yeah, bro. For a while, even downtown, man. It's yeah. lock off. It's like, lock off. Yeah, you can't even go. Like people aren't even in the street like that. Yeah, like don't. I mean, what are they really doing? Like going for a walk and <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, Th- that's it. Like a daily jog type thing. Yeah, but yeah, maybe like the Lakeshore and shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> Lakeshore. Take every every. That's a perfect Toronto man first date. Yeah, it is. It Bubble is. Bubble tea in Lakeshore. <laughs> Bubble tea Lakeshore. <laughs> Fact. Or even like Kensington, but Kensington's closed right now. Oh yeah, I tried. I tried to update my date, but then uh, we didn't. We didn't go on it. I was gonna take Shorty to Benny Hanna's. What's that first date? Like the hibachi. Oh yeah, Where yeah. It's like it's like pristine, like a hundred dollars. That's you expensive, to pay. bro. That's what I'm saying. We made it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> take Shorty to Benny Hanna's the first day, bro. But yeah. Nah, but the, here's the thing. What? When you take a shorty on a first date uh-huh. and you make it something super high top tier, then it's like then that's setting the bar. Yeah. Then she's not gonna expect McDonald's the next date. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> you know me? Like, that's fact. That's fact. Okay, what's what's a perfect like fast food first date? Perfect fast food. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Five Guys. Five Guys? That's expensive. No, but Five Guys is the perfect middle though. Really? I li- I would just do wings, bro. Wings? I guess so. But if you but, can, but wings is expensive too. If you're gonna pay wings, might as well pay five guys. Twelve dollars. Oh yeah, that's the same shit as five guys. Bro. But that's five guys is twelve dollars just for a burger, no fries. Okay, yeah, I guess so. But I think that's a perfect middle. Yeah, because it's like fast food. It's it's a little bit higher, uh-huh. higher tier, but it's not like breaking the bank, you know. Oh yeah. I, I can see that. Because if you take a shorty to sushi the first time, fuck. Why? What's wrong with sushi? Your, your pockets are getting hurt. <laughs> kind of. Like a little bento box? That's cool. Nah, like all you, you, you're going to go sushi and, and not get all you can eat on a date? That's what I did. <laughs> Word? I just got a bento box. We I mean, like, the, the, I'm not hating on that stuff. Yeah. But you know, you know, if, if you can take a shorty and you have a lit ass time at McDonald's, mm. bro, please marry that shorty, man. I like it. If all it, if all it takes is a McDonald's, exactly like that's that's like really a junior chicken. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's it. If, if Shorty can be appreciative of a junior chicken, mm-hmm. bro, that's that's wifey right there. All right, that's facts though. Yeah. Well, what's your go-to spots? Go-to spots for what? Like a date? Yeah, just no, just food. For food? 
Yeah. Have you tried those? Um, uh, in Toronto, there's like these hot dog things that are are deep fried, and then they put like. Oh, I've never been. I've never yeah, been. I've seen so many people post that shit on their story. Is it good or is it just like an Instagram pic? It's kind of. <laughs> it's kind of. It's good. It's yeah. It's, it's mid. It's mid. But like for the Instagram pic. <laughs> Instagram definitely boosted up the taste. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, you know what's so overrated? What? Fucking the Thai ice cream rolls. Like the the the, the one where they put it on on the on the the cold stone and then they scrape it and it turns into a Those roll. Are good. What do you mean? Bro, nah. that shit is so overrated. Shorty, Shorty man. put me on that and it was some strawberry stuff and then she put all the toppings like all the strawberry bubbles. That shit and is stuff. so overrated, bro. It's just ice cream, but like it's kind of cool, yo. It's. That's the same shit as frozen yogurt. It's just like in a in a different in a different form. Nah, you know what's you know what's overrated? That shit where um you uh you poke it on a stick and then you eat it and then it steam comes out. Oh um the the nitri- nitrogen that's so, that, whatever. That's so useless, like the frozen yeah. <laughs> the the freeze whatever yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't even it doesn't taste like anything, fam, and half the time your mouth is burning. Yeah, I know. But yeah. It's kinda cool, I guess. Bro, take and I saw you on YouTube yesterday. For what? Uh videos needed uh needed to watch and shit like that or your recent watch videos mm-hmm. some weird shit bro like what are you on <laughs> this is 4 a.m you you're 4 a.m you're sending oh me- you mean on our search history yeah oh. 4 a.m you're sending me pictures of like uh i don't know like skinwalkers all that <laughs> type of stuff like like what are you talking about man bro what are you on so you ever heard of the <laughs> <laughs> I always start like that. I, I always start. I, I'm gonna switch it off. I'm, I'm not gonna say it like that. Yeah. I, I'll try to reword nah, this. Don't overthink it, cause now, no, we we do this for ourselves, you know. We we, <laughs> we, we, we don't need to, to change. You ever anything. heard of the <laughs> CEO? Of, have you ever heard of that theory? <laughs> I don't know what's to say. No, nah, just do you, fam. Have you ever heard it? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, at the end of the year, we're gonna have a compilation of you just. I know, it's <laughs> be like every single thing. Have you uh, ever heard that? Yeah, yeah. Yo, you ever heard that? <laughs> That's actually what we're. Yo, we need to put that on a shirt. You ever? Oh, we need to put that my, on a shirt. My face yeah. like this. <laughs> and then me saying, "Yeah." All right, let me get into this. Let me get uh, into this. Bit. Okay. You ever heard of the Hollow Earth theory? Not really, but like you, you never heard of it. Nah. Okay. I've heard so, a bit about it. So I think in the. 1600s mm-hmm. no nah, i'm tripping i think in like the 1960s there was a pilot that flew over antarctica okay and he found a hole in antarctica in the earth? Oh, just that like- led like in into the earth damn so his claim i don't know if this is true yeah. but his claim was that he went inside yeah and he saw like a civilization inside of antarctica oh shit like deep inside the ground underground yeah, yeah and he's saying it's in like advanced civilization like they have shit that we couldn't even create like robots i don't know because it just says advanced civilization yeah, right like, what does that mean though? so okay, okay, okay. Though. here's the crazy part though here's the crazy part so he said all of this shit right he came out with the news and everything and said it mm-hmm. then the government silenced him like really they, they told him like he couldn't talk about this shit anymore oh shit <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So that's how you know it's it's valid, bro. But like, who knows, right? Like, because yeah. I've I've heard the hollow the- uh, like of the hollow earth. Yeah, where yeah. There's like fairies living there. There's giants. There's all this type of weird stuff. Yeah, like the, the giants and yeah, shit. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that too. You remember that movie Journey to the Center of the, Ar- yeah. the Earth? Yeah. I was just gonna say that. So Journey to the Center of the Earth, yeah. like you can see in that movie, it shows like lavish. Mm-hmm. It's like a whole world. Yeah, yeah. It's like a whole new world underneath the ground. Yes, bro. And that's, to be honest, that's not too hard to believe. Yeah. Have you seen that episode of The Simpsons where they, they carve, I think, I don't know if it was in The Simpsons, but they, they tried to carve and just dig down until they reached China. Did they? I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't see that one. Really? No. Nah. I, I don't know if it was The Simpsons. What happened? What happened? No, that's it. All they did. So it was just like a funny scene yeah. where uh, they just started digging down. Oh, that's in recess too. Remember? Oh, I think it was. A, I don't know. <laughs> it's recess. But yeah. And then, and then they jumped down and then they arrived in China. Yeah. It was the diggers. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, the diggers. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. we made oh, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> well, we made, we made it. Yeah, we- <laughs> all right, let's go back. <laughs> no, facts, facts. You think it's like that? That you can dig all the way. Nah. Because... Okay, okay. So recently, 2020, mm-hmm. scientists said they found underground water bases or underground like oceans. No, literally underground oceans that are huge. Oh, for real? Like huge. Yeah. Almost the same size as, let's say, the like, Atlantic. Damn. And the theory is that 
there's some creatures in no like let's not even theory it's a hypothesis that yeah there's some creatures in there <laughs> that we haven't ex- we haven't seen yet that's so that good. science hasn't explored or hasn't found yet yeah and there's evidence of life in there too damn which is crazy if, if you've seen something like that what would you do like if you came back to back to earth with all that information bro because it's so crazy like uh, okay imagine you're the pilot right yeah. imagine you're that guy that flew into that hole yeah. let's say it's real let's say it's real <laughs> for, the, for the sake of this let's say it's real yeah. that he saw a whole advanced civilization and he saw all these people and he saw like all of this shit that's super crazy mm-hmm. like how do you how do you go to someone and say yo this is what i saw like obviously you're gonna they're gonna say nah you're on drugs yeah obviously. they can say what the fuck are you on Facts. right yeah but like if it is real like how, how how do you prove that to them you know take pictures no yo low-key i feel there was some crazy people or society deemed them as crazy yeah but they said some real shit that I experienced there yeah, has yeah. to be though no first you you know our ancestors probably saw so many things like that are extinct now like you know how oh dinosaurs yeah, yeah yeah you, you know you know dragons could have existed like during the same time as humans what do you mean okay look, look at it like this in history yeah let's say china the united kingdom like all of these different settlements in every single country mm-hmm. they all have a story of a dragon oh yeah like similar yeah. stories and these civilizations couldn't contact each other yeah, yeah. You know i mean yeah so how come they all had the similar theory or like a story of a dragon that's of a what, creature with wings like a flying lizard that's what i said like yo our ancestors probably saw so many things yeah that that now are just our extinct and we can't see it now they're just in museums for us to to read stories about yeah you know what i read up on what? so i found out that if dragons were to exist yeah their bones are like birds bones birds bones because okay. they're they're more similar to a bird than a lizard okay yeah even dinosaurs too i could believe that yeah yeah so you can imagine like a pterodactyl. Uh, yeah. A pterodactyl is kind of like it's just, just a, a big bird. bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah it could fact. just be a big bird. Yeah. So science proved that if the pterodactyls or if these these dragons existed, uh-huh. we couldn't we couldn't find their bones because they decomposed like bird bones. Really? Yeah. And so just, that's why that's why we couldn't find anything. Mm-hmm, yeah. Then why why is stuff is in the museums then? So that that's those are the ones that they could find. Oh, okay. I was going to say like, yo, what if that all that dinosaur stuff in the museum is just, they just created. Because look, look, over time things evolve, right? Yeah. You're going to have different bone structures, but the different like densities, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, what if these dragons were like a certain evolution of like a dinosaur? Yeah. But their bone structure just so happens like it would decompose and we couldn't find evidence. I know that sounds crazy. This is just a theory, but like, mm-hmm. yeah. That could be it, you know? Yeah, you never know, bro. Because so so many civilizations <laughs> all around the world, no, they fact. talk about dragons. They talk about yeah. these flying lizards, these mm-hmm. flying, like, huge birds that, that would swoop up with kids and, no, like, burn sure. cities down. Yeah. I mean? And and why would they really make that up, though? There's so much stuff, bro, that, that we, we just missed out on. Yeah. Because we were born in 2000s. <laughs> Yo, another thing about Antarctica. Yeah. So, I, I did some research last night, right? Mm-hmm. Scientists are proving that Antarctica used to be a home for an ancient civilization, like way back. Because this was before the Ice Age. Mm -hmm. You know how when the Ice Age happened, everything froze over, right? Everything froze over. Like even um, the Earth's plates, they moved over centuries, over thousands of years, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So low key, they had civilizations in those in those areas of Antarctica, but we we don't have evidence to prove it anymore. I could believe that because why? There's not a lot of people living in Antarctica, bro. Yeah, yeah, and it's such a big landmass, right? Yeah. And at one point, North America was attached to Antarctica. That's what, what do you call that? Pang Pangea. Yeah, Pang- Pangea. Pangea. Yeah. Was that is that Pangea? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. And the earthquake or something like cause them to go apart or something like that yeah because over time the earth's plates move and yeah, then yeah. everything gets separated all the continents were separated yeah but re- in reality like they used to be t- connected yeah right yeah but yeah even stuff about like bro i was reading up on fairies bro yeah and this kind of, it's kind of weird because there there i was reading up uh seven days before christmas mm-hmm. like fairies back then used to come out of their like their little houses what yeah and they, they would you hear this? <laughs> no, no, I read about it. Yeah, yeah, I read about it. So seven days before Christmas, they come out of their suburban houses, mm. right? And they do dances at night. And it, and Walt Disney kind of like 
puts that perspective of like fairies are nice fairies are not yeah but they're really not back then in the ancient world the fairy you're supposed to eat. fairies are dangerous because they they used to raid houses oh what? take all the drinks away yeah like they were evil bro <laughs> you ever heard the they're called trials they're called trials yeah yeah you ever heard the the thing about like why why are your wires of your headphones always tangled up or why like when you put no. something in your bag shit's Yo, always tangled why, up why 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 because a fairy does it people say that the reason your headphones get tangled at nighttime mm-hmm. is because there's like a little fairy that tangles shit up nah bro. <laughs> stop that stop that bro stop 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 i mean like it, it's hella far-fetched that's a that's a real reach no but that's but be funny as <laughs> <laughs> no, but that asks why. Why? Because yeah, like you put, let's say, like your headphones in the corner. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, they're tangled. I mean, I guess from moving around, but like it's sometimes it gets super it gets tangled. Super tangled. Like what the fuck? Like how did that happen? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Loki cut. Yo, well, one time, one time, you're just gonna like, like, look in the corner and then see the fairy like tangling your shit. Like holy smokes. Yo, <laughs> Yo, stop, bro. <laughs> I'm about to leave. I don't have time for that. Yo, what? <laughs> no, that's so crazy. See, like you, I'll, I'll be on uh, last night on YouTube. Yeah. I was watching. Like, <laughs> you haven't watched the the weirdest addictions? Oh, I, I've seen a few of those. Bro, I've seen a few of those. Bro, I've seen so many funny ones. Like the, I'm addicted to eating mattresses. Oh yeah, I saw that one. I saw that one. And then, bro, air freshener. I'm addicted to drinking air freshener. Ew. Bro, I'm like, what the hell? You can, you can drink that and still be alive <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying and she drinks she drinks like two gallons per day or something like yeah, that she's getting cancer or something no something crazy like that and the <laughs> there's a guy who like makes love with his car what the f- <laughs> like he kisses his car and stuff like that <laughs> that's like in um thousand ways to die remember that the game no thousand ways to die the or million ways to die the the, oh, the tv show yeah, yeah okay I know it was on spike tv, TV yeah, remember yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, i was thinking of the game you know dumb ways to die oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Dumb ways to die. <laughs> that was a banger <laughs> that that flappy bird and thing all bang and uh what do you call this angry birds angry birds how do you know what do you mean how do you know exactly what i'm about to say though because <laughs> i can i can sense it that's so weird <laughs> i'm a psychic huh? still nah. <laughs> <laughs> yo we should charge for psychic readings <laughs> We should have a booth in the flea market. Make, make a Fiverr account. Yeah, yeah, facts. Jumpers jump, uh, jumpers jump psychic reading. We should do that for a prank. That'll be a funny prank. Oh, we should. That'll be a funny prank, just yo. In the flea market. <laughs> in the flea market, just us two. And then we record it and we, I make yeah. up some like neck shit. We need to put that on the shirt, bro. Like if you don't let your dog be on your bed tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> like, all the milk in your fridge is going to go spoiled. Facts, bro. Some weird shit like that. Bro, we have to start charging for these theories, man. <laughs> we have to start charging for these theories, man. But you know, some guy uh, some guy DM'd us. Yeah. He was like, he, he taught me about the Walt Disney theory. It was a Walt Disney theory. So you know how Walt Disney died? Mm-hmm. They're saying he's frozen and he's buried under under Walt Disney, right? No, he is frozen. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a real thing. Yeah, so that's why. But the thing, uh, the only reason why they made uh, Frozen the movie. Mm. Well, so whenever you search Walt Disney Frozen, it's yeah. like a it's like a fun type. Oh, it's like child, yeah. It's a child show. So they get distracted of what uh, he actually did. Yeah, that makes sense though. Because mm-hmm. when you Google it, you won't find Walt Disney Frozen. Yeah, exactly. You'll see Walt Disney the Frozen. Frozen show. <laughs> <laughs> That's also right? Yeah. That's exactly. smart though. That's smart. It That's is. smart marketing. But I don't, I don't know. What? I don't know if they did it just so, just because that purpose, but I don't know. It, it, could, it could be. Yeah. Frozen's a banger movie though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But Loki, th- there's a lot of things like that, like subtle things mm-hmm. people do for those reasons, right? Mm-hmm. Like for sure, people had that in mind when they did it. I don't know. I don't know. It's I, just a theory. That's why it's just a theory, you know. But but if you think about like a billion dollar company, yeah, they are taking in like every single detail. Like nothing oh, really slips over their head. That's true. Because if they're a billion dollar company, they're making so much money. They have a huge team that's true. to work on it for years. Mm-hmm. Like nothing really slips over the head. Music, yeah. That's why. That's why they release certain songs. Like, even though, because I remember you about the WAP thing. I yeah. was like, yo, why do you think they release this? Because it's not. It's not a good song. Mm-hmm. But like that. That's what the viewers want, type thing. No, you know why, bro? It's because music now, especially the Billboard Top whatever. Yeah. Billboard Top One Hundreds, everything like pop music, all of that. Yeah. They found a way to make us like music through subconscious like audio waves what do you mean you ever you ever seen that video of x talking where he talks about like 
frequencies and different yeah. different uh, audio what's waves. That, um, frequency that everyone likes. Four thirty three or some something. shit, something like that. Four thirty two. Four thirty two. Yeah. Yeah. So there, there's a theory that people found out how to manipulate us through these mm-hmm. sounds or what sounds we really enjoy. Yeah. And then that's what they use in all the songs. Yeah. That's that's facts. Yeah. And there's there's certain chord progressions. Like when I when I'm playing guitar, there's a chord progression oh, you can use yeah. for every single song. Mm-hmm. Like not every single song, but like a lot of the popular hits. Yeah, bro. Like Jason Mraz, What's uh-huh. it, I'm Yours is the yeah. same chord progression yeah. as um what's that song called? The Childhood Song? No, no, no. Um It's All About the Money, Money, oh, Money. Yeah. That song. Yeah. Price uh, tags. Price tag. Yeah. And a lot of those like um chord progressions they're the same really i think it's the same for billionaire too i'm not sure yeah but bruno mars the, every song that that isn't on that that frequency mm-hmm. people make videos of it with that frequency yeah and it yo if you ever listen to 20 minutes by lil uzi because I, I told you this no no no, <laughs> I told no, no, you this, no. no no you didn't i told you this because I, you told i'm the one that told you this no, i know but but I remember I was listening to it and yeah. it was kind of like weird, bro. I told you, bro. No, no, but yes, I did. No, no, no. I told you, you that. You told me it after because I've always. I told you that, bro. I you're like, you you're like, nah. What are you talking no, about? No, I promise. Hundred dead ass, hundred <laughs> percent. No, no, no. I told you about because it and then you're like, the first you're time like, I listened, nah, 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 nah. What are you talking about? And then you told me like, oh yeah, you're right. No, no. Yes, no, you no. did. No, That's, no, no. Bro, you're tripping. No, no. See, Gav- Gavin hates being put on. No. <laughs> That's Gav- Gavin's number one pet no, peeve chill, is like chill. being put on something. <laughs> no, because you didn't put me on. There's a different thing. I'll admit to anything. I told you okay, about yeah, that, though. Th- you put me on a lot of stuff, Carlos, bro. I told you about the, the Lil Uzi 20 minutes, but though. Whenever, whenever you kind of listen to it, you kind of feel like weird, though. I, I did notice this, though. Okay, and, yeah. and then you said it to me. And I was like, I was like, and then I listened to it again. And yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. He's right. He's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, fam, you put me on. Don't <laughs> worry. Don't worry. You're good, fam. <laughs> Trying to take my my theory. <laughs> that no. that's a personal theory. Like I found yeah, that yeah. myself. <laughs> no, but you know, I'm um, in guitar shops. You're not supposed to play a certain song, or else they'll kick you out. Oh, that's just like a like a like a you know like when you're on court it's like court courts. etiquette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's stairway to have been. I don't know why though. It was so funny because I I used to binge binge watch that uh all those YouTube videos because it's so funny like. Stop, stop, Playing stop. Playing Stairway to Heaven? <laughs> They're like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> but why, though? Because it's because um, Stairway to Heaven is a song that every guitarist kind of learns. Oh, yeah? Why? That's, like, I, that's one of the first songs I learned. Yeah. Because it's 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 a little bit more medium level. Uh-huh. But at the same time, it's kind of hard and it's kind of easy at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense. I guess. But, like, but it's, it's something that everyone can learn, uh-huh. but it still sounds sick. And it's a really good song. Oh, it's like, so you're kind of like, you're just... A it's, poser? It's, it's like it, a poser? Not really a poser. It's like playing it's like playing as, as Golden State on 2K. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? It's like unfair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's like yeah. it's like, oh that's that's what that's what you're playing. That makes sense. Right? <laughs> it's like that. It's like that. You but know what I mean? The reactions are so funny. It's like, yo, bro, stop. <laughs> I, I thought it was like some weird chord uh myth or something nah, that nah, was like nah. haunted or something. No, that's, that's not, it, that's not it, why. It's just it's just like yeah. It's just that. Yeah. That's the stuff I, I get into. No no weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, when I was in grade seven I learned all of those classic rock songs. Yeah. Like Stairway to Heaven, Knocking on Heaven's Door, I, I Sweet learned, Child of Mine, like oh, all those word. songs. I learned guitar but I never wear, learned Stairway to Heaven. Yeah? Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I, I always wanted to be a drummer though. A drummer? Yeah. Drumming's hard bro. It is. I thought it was so easy. Because mm-hmm. all you're doing is you're just nah, drumming is so hard bro it actually is and being a drummer in a band you're yeah. like the backbone of everyone because they facts. go off your beat <laughs> facts if you mess up yeah you're, you're the engineer <laughs> you, you look key. back at the drummer you're like Yo, what's going on <laughs> but but, yeah. but i think if you're the lead guitarist yeah and the singer you have the biggest parts as in like if you f- up everyone's gonna know you f- yeah, up. Yeah, yeah for sure because I, rem- I remember um i was uh i did like a little concert too mm-hmm. you know um Back in in like elementary, I think mm-hmm. there was uh, the talent shows. Oh, you did the talent show? Yeah. What did you do? I, I think I did the talent show with Miles, and we were both just we were just both just uh, strumming. I was so no way. I was both I was so nervous. I was like, because if I mess up, yeah, I, they'll they'll know because it's only the two of us. Yeah. But yeah, I, I didn't. Though. What'd you guys play? I think it was Build a Fire Broken Jeans. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what did Miles do? He drummed. Oh, he's a drummer. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, he used to put me on a lot of stuff, bro. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, shout out Miles. So somebody uh, told us, yo, do you know they don't they didn't even know about our business and stuff like that? Really? Like the the real ones that that follow us on all all of our Instagram accounts. Yeah, they, yeah. they know about the business, but they're like, yo, where'd you get the hat from? Yo, the craziest thing is some people 
they like in the comments they say, "Oh, you're Weeko Studio." Yeah, and they're like, <laughs> "They're like, yo, where's the hat from?" Because <laughs> they don't know fucking my brand. <laughs> just just market it more, bro. Yeah. You know why though? Because I used to market Weeko Studios on, on TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, yeah. So they know you. So a lot of a lot of like the TikTok yeah. people that that are on there a lot, they might have seen like one of my viral vids from my brand yeah. account. No, that's fine. Which is dope. But yeah. That's sick though That everyone gets to notice Whenever I see Cause I'm the one I'm usually responding it, It's both of us responding To YouTube comments mm-hmm. But sometimes I'll see uh, uh, Hey shout out Weeko Studios yeah. I'll be like Yo go follow Sober Society <laughs> <laughs> hey. Nah I'm kidding You but gotta yeah. post more bro I will don't worry You gotta post more I will Soon, soon I'm gonna get into Full time podcaster now Let's go right. We're gonna drop merch soon Oh yeah We're back. dropping merch back. Yo get those designs done bro Cause I like, got you. I'm excited we, I wanna, we I wanna a, wear we that We got a, a Christmas tree one Yeah <laughs> We got a Christmas tree one <laughs> Gotta uh, drop that soon The theory The theory And mm. a psychedelic one Coming out That one's uh, yeah. is so crazy <laughs> But yeah You know back to the Walt Disney stuff mm-hmm. Taken I, I've seen so many theories about um, Bro do you know um cars yeah <laughs> that cars theory is something weird bro what's a cars theory <laughs> they, they're saying that cars was made after they murdered all the humans oh <laughs> i heard i heard that because, one yeah because, yo why before we all died how did how are the cars made by humans obviously and we've created such <laughs> such high ai yeah. that that they just Killed us all. Yeah. And just started a movie on their own, bro. <laughs> Yo, you know what Elon Musk said? What? Elon Musk said the biggest thing he's afraid of is yeah. AI. Oh, yeah, for sure. And it's inevitable, too. 100%. Like, no- nothing's going to stop it. Like, eventually, AI is going to be a thing. AI is already taking over so many jobs, man. It's like... That shit can really... Yo, Terminator, yeah. Skynet. You watch Terminator, yeah. right? How all the robots took over the yes, world. bro. That could really be a thing. That's it, not... It's scary, bro. That's that's not even, like, a fairy tale. Like, that could actually be yeah. a thing. 10 years from now? Can't even believe. Ten years from now, what do you think is gonna? What is it gonna look like? Bro, I can't even predict ten years ahead, bro. I think ten years. Ten years is gonna look like uh, not actually not ten years. Probably like fifty years. We're gonna have that stuff in our arm and it's with a pop up screen. No more iPhones. Just it's all in our arm. And then in yeah, the, yeah. the glasses, the super glasses. Where you know like, what I always thought was gonna happen? What I always thought we're gonna have um. Like on our on our on our arm yeah. as a projection. Yeah, that's what I said. The the projection that comes up. No, no, a projection that's on your skin. Oh, so it's it's like, like a, it's like a band. Yo, someone out there make this because I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> like it's a bracelet or a watch, yeah. and then it will project like a projector onto your skin. That's kind of sick, right? Loki, I had that idea since I was like I was a kid. Yeah. I don't know why I had no one made that yet. Really, but probably because they're not as crazy as you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that'd be so sick though, right? Yeah. Like if you just have, let's say your, your iPhone, mm-hmm. it's, it's attached to your, your wrist and you just go like this and you're like scrolling through shit. Oh, the eye, the eye bracelet. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> that'd be that's, dope. That's so sick. But then you're always like this though. <laughs> <laughs> A lie just randomly. You're always like that. You're always flexing for some reason. Nah, that, that, yeah, that'd be dope for the military. That's not ergonomically friendly. I guess, I guess. The, mili- <laughs> the military, imagine, or like spies. Yeah. Because it doesn't make any noise and you can't drop it. And it won't break like that. Oh, that's true too. Right? I've always wanted to be a spy though. Yeah, me too. You know, you know, as, a, you know as a kid when um your mom's cooking dinner or something, you just sneak around. <laughs> spy kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, with Jackie Chan, that movie. Oh no. Oh it? no, that's Spy Next Door. Yeah, Spy Next Door. Such a banger movie. Remember yeah. Spy Kids though? No. Spy Kids, bro. No, no, you can't say that. They're actually gonna flame you. <laughs> no, no, They're gonna flame you so no, hard I if know, you say I that. I know Spy Kids, don't worry. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, sometimes it'll be so I'll be reading all the time. Yo, Gavin, how do you not know? Th- <laughs> If you said that, like yeah, you're yeah, actually yeah. getting flamed. No, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, you know that one, that one scene where they have like the invisible cameras. It's like the sticky cameras, and they put it like in the hallways. So they used to have like a bag of like sticky cameras that are invisible. Uh-huh. They take it and then they stick it like on the wall. So what I used to do when I was a kid, I was so obsessed with that scene. Yeah. I took like plasticine, like the play doh <laughs> shit. Yeah. I used to roll it in like really small balls and be like, "I'm setting up cameras." <laughs> <laughs> That's so jokes. I used to when, uh, when me and my friends were in the basement too. Mm. We used to like try and spy around. Yeah. And, like we have to we have to carry these balls, right? Oh, balls. <laughs> no, no, like like dodge balls, like these little dodge balls. Yeah, okay. And, and whenever you see the other person. You just pelted out of him. <laughs> that was our that was our version. Yeah, but yeah, I did I did that I did that thing too where like you set up cameras, mm. but I didn't have that plastic scene stuff. Oh, yeah. I, was just, I was just like I was pretending to wire a camera. Up. Yeah, you remember um they used to have all of those spy gear or whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah, at Toys R Us. Yeah, at Toys R Us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I used to get the ones from like Winners from Christmas. I used to love that stuff, bro. Anything at Toys R Us like 
uh, WWE memorabilia. Yeah. I used to buy that Rey Mysterio mask. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Bro, that's oh, dope. my God. I went to Niagara Falls one time, and I got, like, the authentic one. Mm. It was, like, $50, $60. Damn, man. that's crazy. Yeah. And I was like, yo, dad, I need this, man. Like a real luchador, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Probably, probably no, it was probably like $100. Mm. And my dad's like, bro, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> There's probably like bootleg ones for like $20. Yeah. But yeah, Rey Mysterio. Mysterio's a little gold. He is. I feel like all, all, all the Asians, <laughs> all the Asians love Rey Mysterio because <laughs> his, his Latino. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, we so we're close enough. We're close <laughs> enough. We're close enough, fam. But yo, yeah. there's no Asian wrestler. What do you mean? There's no there Asian is. WWE wrestler. Yes, yes. There's Who? a Chinese guy. There's a Chinese guy. Who? I don't know his name, but there's, <laughs> there's a Chinese guy in there. That He's actually pretty popping. Is it like new? Yeah. I, yeah, I, haven't, I haven't like kept up. Yeah, it's very new. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. It's That's like... Nah, I'm not even gonna say. It. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's he's kind he's kind of popping though. Sin Cara was sick too. Yo, I think the biggest like fighter for Asians was Bruce Lee. Like, if you can name a fighter, like a, like an Asian fighter, yeah. who are you gonna name Bruce Lee? I think of Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Yeah. Over Bruce Lee. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn. I don't know. That's because, crazy. Because my favorite movie was Karate Kid. <laughs> oh, where? Because I, I was I was into Bruce Lee, but not like. In the later stages, of okay, after, okay, after yeah. I, I knew about Jackie Chan. Oh, because you didn't—you probably didn't watch like the old movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm not. You know, you don't get into those like old stuff, nah. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I feel yeah, Jack, Jackie Chan for sure. Yeah. Or like, you watch uh Jet Li. Oh yeah, remember Jet, Jet Li? Yeah, 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 yeah Jet, Jet Li, Li was sick. For sure, for sick. sure. Yeah. Who else was there, bro? Um, Manny Pacquiao, man. <laughs> no, yeah, I was gonna say so. It probably goes Jackie. No, Jackie Bruce Chan. Lee. Bruce Lee for sure. Like, as a majority of the world, let's say Bruce yeah. Lee. Okay, yeah, but for me, it's it's like top ten like Asian uh, Asian fighters. Yeah, it's probably Jackie Chan, Pacquiao, then then uh, Bruce Lee. Yeah, yeah. Cause bro, damn, we're gonna put many, Bruce Lee under Manny Pacquiao. Because bro, like? Manny Pacquiao is just like the staple. Like you, you, the, you have so many fights. You remember so many fights of all your family coming over. Like yeah, that. yeah, I know, I know. Stuff like that, yo. That's true. That's true. I'm just not an old head. I guess so. I yeah. guess. Well, I'm the same age as you. <laughs> yeah, but we're not. You're not an old head. You don't move like an old head. Yeah. Because there's there's some people that be like acting too mature for their age, bro. Like who? I don't even want to name names. <laughs> but, like, but fam, like, you know you're 20, right? Yeah. That's yeah. super young. And they think they're super old. Like, bro, 20 is... You're just starting your life out, fam. I know. You're young forever. You know that, right? But people yeah. are like, no, I got to... Oh my god, I gotta mature right away. You don't, bro. I know it's true. Like, calm down. Bro. But but at the same time, it's what it's different tastes. Yeah. No, because for sure we have we have very like younger taste. Yeah, yeah. But I could see oh like other people in our generation they like the older type of mentality. Yeah, I'm not I'm not downplaying anything. Like, yeah, yeah. Like go on your own pace. Like if that's mm -hmm. that's your way, that's your way. But just don't judge my way. Like yeah, for sure. You for should sure. you should be more mature like that. Bro. I know, yeah, that's true. Like, like you can't, you can't knock someone on being like exactly, happy like, being young. Exactly, that's fact. Right? It, it's different if they're like if they're like that and not doing anything with their lives. That's different. Exactly. <laughs> then, that, like, well, I'm not even gonna listen to you. Yeah, yeah. That's the same thing goes with like, don't ever take advice from money advice from a person who hasn't made a million dollars or something like that. What, what was that saying? Don't don't trust advice from someone that hasn't made a million. I mean. I don't know. I never heard that one. Yeah. Oh, the one I did hear, it yeah. was <laughs> never learn how to catch a fish from a fish. <sighs> huh? <laughs> never catch. So never learn how to catch a fish from a fish. You, you ever you ever see you ever see those um those TikToks where a girl's giving like advice how to get girls? I think I've seen one of them. Oh yeah, no, I have, I have. <laughs> it's I like have. never trust a fish to teach you how to t how to fish. Oh, it's but true. they give secrets though. Like that girl telling uh, us about how to get a girl, she's a girl, so that's from their perspective. That's what she wants, bro. But like, I guess. But let's change Why? the topic. Let's change, the topic. <laughs> let's change the topic. <laughs> okay, oh, what, what, sure. what's yeah. your favorite like old movie? Old movie? Because I know you don't watch a lot of old movies like that, but I want to know like what's your favorite. They're gonna roast me, bro. Because it's probably not gonna be that old. You watch Scarface, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's probably the oldest movie then. Really? Yeah. No, no. Okay, what's, what's it can't your, be older than the Karate Okay, game. well, what's your favorite like movie cinematography wise or like on 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 a level that's not Avengers, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, no, I was gonna crazy for changes. <laughs> no, no probably, you feel me though? Like pro probably Transformers. Bro, that's the same. Sick. Oh, you know what's a sick movie? What? What's that robot boxing? Oh, um, Real Steel. Real Steel is so <laughs> fire. I got all the memorabilia and yeah. all. I downloaded the app. Mm -hmm. Bro, that, that was probably my top 
That's yo. That is such a fire. You 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 brought that back up for me. Real guess. steel was fire. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna. Real not gonna steel lie. Was so fire. Real steel was fire, but they the fuel the film mans will be like real steel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rocky too. And I I like any fight movies. Action, mm. action. I guess rom coms. I like rom coms too. What's your favorite rom com? Uh, you ever watch Forgetting Sarah Marshall? No, that's my hands down think, favorite one. That's that, a funny issue. Yeah, because whenever I type up rom com, mm. I think I've seen that one. Mm -hmm. But you know <laughs> the the basic one. Oh, what's that one with the Laura Jean? Oh, uh, to all the boys. <laughs> no lie, I became a. <laughs> no lie, whenever I watch that movie, I become a sim. I go back to sim <laughs> mode. I go out of demon mode and I'm back in sim <laughs> mode. <laughs> But yeah, that movie was alright. It, it wasn't that good. The second one sucked, bro. Yeah, the second so one was so trash. Cause it's like it's like I'm gonna be with you forever, and you know how it ends. <laughs> yeah, you, you know how it ends already. Like you can't give that shit away. <laughs> Yo, you know, you know who Loki makes like really good rom coms? Who? Filipinos. <laughs> oh, for sure. No, I watched a rom com with my mom, and, I, and yeah. when I was a kid, I actually cried. <laughs> like they're actually pretty good at making that simp shit. Yeah, they do. <laughs> No, that's facts. I, th I think that's what one thing Filipinos are really good at is making like simpy movies. Oh yeah, that is I true. mean, and if you look at their their whole media market, it is it's mostly like that stuff. Yeah, the whole industry yeah. is like rom coms because, and like romance. They want to love a, a couple. Yeah, yeah. Like uh -huh. if you're a couple in the Philippines, if you have that chemistry with someone, yeah, you made it. That's facts. Because that's, that's fact. all they're gonna talk about on the news. Yeah, because I was watching this one movie with my cousins, mm -hmm. and then they all like. There was two actors, yeah. like a, a guy and a girl, yeah. and they made like so many movies Bro, I, together. I know, I know exactly. I'm picturing them right now. You know exactly who yeah, I'm talking exactly. about, right? I think her name's like Catherine Bernardo, something, something like that. Something like that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that, that's not the name. Yeah. Like, how do I remember that? <laughs> <laughs> because it's so, it's like, it's always, it's always playing. Yeah. But yeah, another, another rom-com or like TV show or series on mm -hmm. Netflix right now that I've been watching what? is Never Have I Ever. That was such a banger. Oh, with the brown girl? Yeah. I've, I've, I haven't watched that one. Bro, it's, trust me, it's sick. Yeah? Yeah. You know what you should watch? What? You should watch Black Mirror. I know you don't watch Black Mirror. No, that that's the one. That's the one where you choose your own thing. No, that that was the Black Mirror movie. Oh, Black Mirror as a show itself. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of what we talk about is is, um, theories and shit. Oh, really? And thinking about like government control, new oh, world shit. order, or like how technology might take over shit. Yeah, yeah. Like it's all of those like little theories and dark kind of paths. Mm -hmm. It's in that show. Burn. Yeah, you know what? You know what movie I recently watched? What? Midsummer. Oh, Midsummer! Yeah, I just watched that yeah. too. I just Wait, watched you that. Just watched that? I watched it. I watched it last week, bro. It's no, like so two weeks crazy. ago. Like two weeks ago, bro, But I always knew about it. I always yeah. knew about it. Yeah. It's so crazy. It, yo, like, it's 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 a it's such a good movie as even just a cinematography level. Bro, like that's what I, I was gonna say on a cinematography, like on an artistic like, level. Facts. It looked like Eternal Take. Yeah. Yeah. Like um, what's it called? Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate. Yeah. With, uh, Marshall Mathers. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, you know heaven. You know what Heaven's Gate is, right? The yeah, cult. Yeah. So they pretty much brought a bunch of people together. Mm -hmm, yeah. And they all committed suicide together. Yeah, together. Yeah. And there's there's pictures of that's why Uzi's album with the purple dresses. Mm -hmm. They're all in that same purple dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They wore like purple clothing yeah, and shit. Yeah. yeah. It's so crazy. That's bro. crazy. The way I looked it up. You ever hear about um the the guy in Guyana? I forgot what his, oh. I think his name's Jim Jones. Oh, I've heard of Jim Jones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he, he pretty much got like a whole, this was the largest mass murder yeah. in history. Mm -hmm. I forgot how many exactly, but they, he convinced like a whole population mm -hmm. of this like town yeah. to drink poison of Kool-Aid. Yeah. Like poisonous Kool-Aid. Uh -huh, yeah. Bro, take it. I know Jim Jones just because of Uzi. Really? Yeah. Damn. But that's so crazy that he convinced every single one of them yeah <laughs> but that that's how cults work right they take advantage yeah. of people mm -hmm. that are unstable that Facts. they're looking for like a family Facts. and that's how they really get into their head no, 100%. They, they leak into their subconscious like that and they mm -hmm. take you the cardi cult is crazy <laughs> the cardi cult <laughs> but no fact like i i can see artists trying to look up to those cult leaders and mm -hmm. trying to do the same thing with their fans. Do you know, um, bro, do you know the theory about Uzi? That, what? Uh, the 23 Club? No, 27 Club. 27 Club? 27 Club. People are saying that once Uzi hits 27, he's he's gone. Because the 27 Club mm. is is all like... It's Kurt Cobain. It's Kurt Cobain. Um, all, all, Jim Morrison. Yeah. There's a few others. I forgot exactly. All the like rock stars, mm -hmm. what they call themselves, they just commit suicide at 27. It's not they commit... Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. It's not they commit suicide, but they die. They die, yeah. Yeah, they die at the age 27. And that's why a lot of people, I don't know, is Post Malone 27? 
Oh. Is he older than 27? I don't know. Because I remember Post Malone has a lot of those people tatted on his hands. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. So, which is like... People are scared. I really, I really don't want Post Malone to People are scared for Post Malone too. You know why? Because he... he He's every, really a rock star. No, and every time on stage, he's he's like oh he's, he's off the shit. Floating yeah. away like he's off something. Yeah, and, and his health is really bad. I heard. Do you, do you know that thing with the, the with the white lighter too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of those people that died, they all had a white lighter with them. I know, bro. That's why you should never like carry a white lighter. Or yeah. white lighter is like bad luck. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I've heard that too. There's so many like. Oh, you want to hear something crazy? So I was in the auto shop. Yeah. In high school, right? Yeah. And then we were fixing up a car. Uh huh. And I took out the the center console, and underneath the center console, I found a white lighter, what? like a really small one, like that. Yeah, yeah. And I kept it. Why'd you keep it? I just wanted it. That's bad luck, no? I th- I don't know. I didn't know about this theory before. Yeah. But the, I kept. It. I still have it, like upstairs somewhere. God damn! You know what's crazy theory too? That I mean, a crazy thing that happened. Because mm. I remember, uh, I drove by a black cat. Yeah. Right. And so I was driving, right? Yeah. Driving, driving, driving. Everything was cool. Mm-hmm. And then I stopped at the red light. Bro, literally five seconds after that happened, there was two cars that came. One was turning left, but the other one was turning right. Boom, they hit each oh, other. Oh, shit. I was like, really? Yo, what the f-? That's crazy. And I was like, yo, if, bro, I was like, nah, this can't be real, man. Damn. But yeah. But yeah, black cats, they like, have a stigma about being terrible luck yeah, and crows <laughs> whenever i see a crow i'm like oh my god here we you go. ever seen like a, a real crow crow though yeah. like the really tall ones oh no i've seen like i've seen a small crow but like, like not like these ones oh it's not a crow it's a raven you ever seen a raven oh no i don't think i've ever seen <laughs> the first time i seen a raven yeah. me and my sister were walking to the bus stop uh-huh. right to go to school <laughs> yeah. we saw a raven the ravens are like this tall really this tall and then it had crows around it and the crows are like this <gasps> small <laughs> like you've seen a crow it's kind of like a robin it's yeah, like yeah. this small but the raven was this big. Did you experience any bad luck after that? No, nah, no, nah. it was okay. it was a chill day. Okay. <laughs> it was a chill day. Okay. No, I saw the raven and it was eating something. It was eating some like meat or whatever. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Because I think those are those are scavenger, scavenger animals. Where did you know? Did you know whenever um you bite your tongue, you bite your tongue or something? Yeah. That means someone's thinking about you. When you bite your tongue? Yeah. Whenever you accidentally bite your tongue. I don't know about you, that you know, you know when You know those ones where you're eating and they're, oh, sh- I only ever bite my tongue when I'm like playing sports. Or is it bite your lip? No, no, it's bite your tongue. Nah, it's when you sneeze. When you sneeze, people are talking about you. No, hell no. Yeah? No. It's bite, whenever someone bites your, whenever you accidentally bite your tongue. No, but the, the saying is like, this is even in Naruto. <laughs> like the, the thing is like if you sneeze yeah. someone else is talking about you so in naruto they would have a transition yeah. where like they're talking about someone and then the next clip is of that person and they sneeze at you <laughs> really <laughs> yeah That's so it's like, it's like they're talking about someone like let's, they're talking about naruto and yeah. then it cuts to naruto and he sneezes <laughs> like the first thing in the scene really i don't know maybe people havenven't noticed that but like yeah, that's a yeah. thing but there's also another one is like where you if you kill a spider it's gonna rain that day no way yeah <laughs> that's bullshit no, that's I, bullshit no i remember i killed the spider and it started raining i swear to you that's crazy no no i was on me <laughs> <laughs> oh man we need to make all well what's things. what's the spider um what's it called the song it's even yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah what was that about was that about raining was it down a, the water was it, was spout. It, yeah, wasn't it associated with rain though i don't know but do you know the? Um, <laughs> did you know the the merry merry ground? No, Mary ring around ring around the rosy. Yeah, you know ring around the rosy is about like an actual pandemic. Huh? You never heard about that? No. So this is like the story. This isn't even a theory. This is like the story behind ring around the rosy. Okay. Ring around the rosy, pocket, pocket full of posies or whatever oh, it's so called. They all fall down. Yeah. So the posies. Were, were like flowers yeah. that back then they thought would eliminate like the disease yeah. or help them be immune to the disease what to the fight fuck? off that yeah. whatever that's killing people off. It was like yeah. a pandemic, right? Yeah. Now in the song, ring around the posy, rock it below posy, ashes, ashes, they we all, all fall, fall down. down. So they had to burn the bodies chill, chill. so that they wouldn't spread the disease anymore. So that's why they say ashes, ashes, oh. and then they all fall down. They all die. They all dead. Yeah. Yo. You haven't heard that one? No. I think it was in um. This is this is in Europe. I forgot exactly where it was. Yeah. But that was kind of the the thing around it was it was a pandemic and they were they're talking about having these posies yeah. like a flower. 
to fight off the disease. Holy smokes. But in the end, that they just all so died. That though, because uh, ashes, ashes, they all fall down. Yeah. Holy and we used to sing that shit as kids, and like, we sick. never knew about it. No, that's actually sick. Right. That's a sick. That's a sick story. You, I didn't know it. Even the London Bridge. You ever heard the London Bridge one? Wasn't that just London Bridge is falling yeah. down, falling down, falling down. That was actually about like a London Bridge like falling Fall, down. Yeah, yeah. But the the parts where they say like build it up with sticks and wood, sticks and wood, uh-huh. sticks and wood, right. So what happened was they would have builders to try and fix it. Yeah. And then they tried many different things, mm-hmm. and they would always fail, and it would never work, and people. So many people would die on that bridge. They just build it with people? No, that's not what I said. What the fuck? I didn't say that. I was going to say. I didn't say that. No, like people would die on that bridge because they didn't build it properly. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were like, because you are like, build it up with sticks and bones. No. I was like, what the hell? That would be crazy. That, that's some dark theory. That's a dark, dark theory. Yeah. That one's not real. What do you think is like, I don't know. I just, just randomly popped in my mind. Yeah. Like, you, you, were you ever like, what's the last time you were actually like genuinely happy? What? All the time. Yeah. Loki, like, right now. <laughs> what yeah. do you mean? Because I, I, I remember I asked someone this, and then they had to go way back to, like, oh, I was... Bro, for me... All right, listen. If you have to think about when you were last happy, yeah, you're that not- means something's wrong. <laughs> that, mean? lie. that means, like, you're not doing something in your life that's fulfilling enough. I've seen on someone's Instagrams, they asked that, and there was bare answers where it's, like, not, not right now, like, moments behind... So you can't even say that though, because maybe that time they were super happy. Okay, are you saying like the happiest moment of their life? Or are they happy right now? Is that what you're asking? No, like a time where they were genuinely happy. So the last time they were genuinely happy? Yeah. That's kind of depressing if and, the and, last and time you're genuinely happy was way back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's kind of depressing. Yeah. Nah, bro, because look, if you're not genuinely happy, like on a regular basis, mm-hmm. something's wrong. That's fact. I mean, whether it be the situation you're in, relationship, I don't know, like your life status or what you're doing right now, yeah. and you're not generally happy, then obviously something's wrong. That's facts. Like, what's the purpose of life is to be happy. Mm-hmm. You know, do you want to die and be sad? No. Nah. No, you want to be happy on your deathbed. You don't want to regret shit. You don't want to like feel certain ways. Like, I'm not ready. I had a shitty life. Blah blah. blah. That's facts. No, you want to live every single moment to the fullest. You don't want to think about, man. I wasn't. I didn't feel good about that moment Mm -hmm. like you have to look at it as i'm happy with the life i had and i'm gonna live it to the fullest yeah that's why people have to go through like their daily affirmations fam just like tell you oh thank thank i'm thankful that i'm happy i'm i'm thankful i'm alive yeah there's so many blessings that's what i'm saying like how how are you gonna reference like two years ago that you're actually happy i know (laughs) like like, dog that that doesn't make any sense that's crazy to me yeah yo i remember this one time this was recently Mm -hmm. Shorty was saying, I'm feeling kind of sad today. You know what I told her? What? Go to your fridge and get something sweet. Yo, you're sick for that. <laughs> I said, go to your fridge and get something sweet. You're sick for that. And she's like, she's like, oh. <laughs> right? Yeah. So like she got, I think she got like a pudding cup. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, okay, when you take it, I want you to say, hmm. <laughs> That's what I told her. That's what I told her. All right. No, but she was actually sad. She was actually yeah, not feeling yeah. good. Yeah. And I told her, I guarantee you after you do that, you'll feel good. Mm-hmm. You'll feel better at least. Yeah. She did it and she felt better. Where? Because a lot of it's 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 a lot of little things. People think, oh, when I'm sad, I have to be sad. Yeah, bro. No, nah, it's never you never have to be <laughs> no, sad. Exactly. I told told someone that too. Like someone's like, yo, I'm not feeling that good type thing. Like I'm I'm kind of like depressed type thing. Mm. Like bro, like look at everyone right now. Look where you're, you're under a house, fam. Yeah, like, be happy. There's bro. so there's so much to be grateful for. Exactly. You know you know what I wrote in my journal. What I wrote, if you're in a bad mood, mm-hmm. the only one that's losing is you. Mm-hmm. So if you if you choose to be in a shitty mood, you're just getting down on yourself. You're the only one that's losing. Yeah, like everyone else can feel a certain. You you control you. It's not like other people can control your mood. Mm-hmm. You don't have to let them control your mood. Yeah, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. let's say let's say you're at work and you're having a shitty time, right? If you're having a shitty time, you're gonna have a shitty day. You're gonna have a shitty mood. But let's say you're at work. Sure, it's like a hard. It's hard work. If you put your mindset into like I'm gonna have fun. Yeah, I'm gonna make the most out of it. Mm-hmm there's been times where you do like hard work and you have fun right yeah exactly you can put yourself in a mindset where nah fuck that i'm not gonna be sad i'm not gonna be glum yeah i'm gonna make the most out of what i have right now and just be happy yeah that's why like that mindset is so important Mm -hmm. like i'll be at work and i'll I'll, i don't think i've ever had 
a bad day because you know me like and everyone who else knows me like yeah. i'm a pretty positive person yeah. i take the best out of everything mm -hmm. so i'm never thinking about oh i gotta do this i'm like yeah. okay i'm gonna do this mm -hmm. you know like that's just a switch of the mindset can really just change your day up yeah that's so you don't important have to be sad exactly yeah like no one sure people try to put you down mm -hmm. but those are the same people like you don't want in your life exactly and that's why people always preach like surround yourself with like positive people pe surround yeah. yourself with the people that will bring you up and that's so true it's true your, your environment as soon as i cut a few people off that was just negative 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 yeah bro i've been ha super happy exactly it's it's the energy that they give off from you mm -hmm. you know yeah if if you're it's the same thing like if you're if you're raised with wolves yeah. you're gonna be a you're wolf become a wolf exactly yeah. that's why i think parents were like choose your friends carefully mm -hmm. that's yeah so it's, so, it's so true it's so yeah. true because your environment, you change with your environment, so. But it's really hard. I understand there's people like, oh, I don't want to give up my friends. Like, yeah. I don't want to, like, I understand that for sure. Like, mm -hmm. that's that's a serious thing. Like, I, that's not something to just throw away, yeah, right? Throw away a friendship. Yeah. But, like, really, you have to you have to look at what you want, right? Mm -hmm. If what you want is to be this way, yeah. then if the steps to be that way is cutting off certain people mm -hmm. and is making your environment like this, yeah then that might be the thing to do. Exactly. And people are, well, you'll be surprised of how crazy, like it'll change stuff. Yeah. yeah. So true. Okay. If we're not talking genuinely happy, yeah. what's like the happiest, happiest you've been? Damn. I don't know. That's so if, hard. If we're talking that, like that way. That's so hard. I don't know. Really? I really don't know, bro. Really? And I'm not saying that to like be, oh, I'm always happy. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. I'm not like Lil Yachty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like Lil Yachty, but it's, it's, it's hard for me to just pinpoint like one moment. Yeah. No, I, there's, there's definitely a, a lot of moments for me. Cause, bro, like honestly, sure it may not may may not even sound amazing, but sometimes just like kicking up on the couch, like playing Xbox. I was gonna say that too. Like that's a that that's really fun to me. Yeah, like playing Uno with my family. That's that's yeah, I'm like legit happy. Exactly. Like yeah. it could just be something smaller. Someone has to say, oh, oh, when I was in LA, I was partying that's here, and saying. then someone jumped off I the roof, so and then yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I, yeah but like i can't hate on no one's happiness but that just sounds like a flex like yeah. i i don't i don't try to search for those lavish lavish things those mm -hmm. spectacular things that make me so happy yeah because you can find little you can find so much happiness in little things no lie i did chase for those those lavish things though yeah so like that lavish lifestyle just going to parties mm -hmm. stuff like that i was i was i was happy in i was but then i was like no there's like that's not no all. but but some people are like that. Some people like that stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. No, no bashing on on anyone that likes it, cause that that's 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 fun. It yeah, is yeah, fun. It, it is. is fun, mm -hmm. but it, it it depends on your personality, right? Like, and to me, it's 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 the best when you can have so much happy. You can be so happy with just yourself. Yeah. Oh, those are the best ones. Yeah. I'll be. I'll literally be in my room and I'll be having the best time ever. Yeah, cause I remember one time I went downtown to pick up some some materials for the business, yeah, right? Yeah. And I had to go by myself because no one was available. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, remember I, I yeah, asked everyone when I was like, everyone. "Yo, anyone want to come with me?" I'm like, right, "I'm gonna go by myself." That was one of the first times like I just went on a mission yeah, by myself. Yeah, by yourself. Yeah. Yo, I've done that. Have you ever taken yourself out? Nah, not like that. Yeah. So I one time, cause uh, this was like after like a breakup. Yeah. So I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go out by myself." You feel me? Yeah. With no one, so I went out to eat by myself. Yeah. I sat down at a restaurant. And I was just on my phone and shit. No way. And it was the best time of my life. I swear to God. I rate that. I rate that. But it's good to take it out, fam. It just, just literally just self-care. It is. And especially during COVID, <laughs> you need that stuff. What's your biggest turn off but for a girl? Um, Being fake. Okay, but how would you tell? You can tell. You can't tell when someone's being fake? No. What do you mean? You there, There's a lot of people that can fake it for a long time, bro. Bro. If you can't tell when someone's being fake, you haven't met enough people. Don't know. <laughs> Oh shit! Wrong, wrong one. one. Wrong one. Straight up. Straight oh yeah, that one. I guess. Now let that sink though. If you can't tell if when someone's being fake, someone's fake, then you okay. haven't met enough people. I don't know. People are deceptive, bro. No, but you can learn. You ever watch True Romance? No. So in True Romance, Christopher Walken, he had this moment with this, um, with the dad of the main character, mm -hmm. and he was like interrogating him, right? Yeah. And he said, Sicilians they study the pantomime or whatever it's called. The pantomime? Yeah, so they, from facial structure, like any little body language oh, movement, yeah, yeah. any like subtle hints with their vocal tone, yeah. they study that so they can know when you're lying. Oh, you know you know what's the one thing uh, someone told me? Yeah. In an interview, when mm -hmm. you're interviewing someone or you're getting interviewed yeah. and you're, you're thinking of a moment, mm -hmm. never look to your left 
Because the Why? interviewer will know you're lying. Because if you look to your right, then then you're trying to think of some that's that scenario. Really? I might have I might have um mixed it up. No, I always look to my right though. I always look to yeah, my yeah. right. Yeah, but if if you're if you're faking something, they'll know because you're thinking to your left. But I look to my left. Yeah, if you're like. Um, yeah, so back then I was... I don't know. I don't know about that. No, but it's true though. Like Maybe. I, I caught myself doing it. Because a, a lot of people do... A lot of people have mannerisms. Like, you know the people that talk like this? What do you mean? Like, they have a side have a side thing. Really? Yeah, there's some people that have mannerisms where they'll, they'll talk in certain ways. Yeah. And like, I don't know. I don't know if I trust that one because a lot of people are different, right? Yeah, I guess. But with... um. With vocal tone and like facial expressions yeah, and stuff, yeah. like I can, I feel like I'm good at that one. Yeah, kind of. I'm, I'm not. I'm not like Christopher Walken level. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah where you just oh, what your your pitch is yeah point five off. I know, Are I know. Yeah, me? not like that, but like, I feel like I can. <laughs> no, no, kinda, that's facts. kinda. No, that's facts. But I think it's important because you don't want you don't want to let those fake people into your life. You have to like be able to weed them out. No, hundred percent. Right. Yeah, but like at the same time, like sometimes you can't tell. That's why I said sometimes you can't tell because. Those fake, pe- those ones that love you, that say you love you, well, the, the same ones that will talk behind your back. That's the saying too. Oh, bro, I think, I think, <laughs> okay, I'm going to sound like kind of dickhead you, yeah. but like, even if someone's like that, yeah. I always think another way what in the mean? back of my head. What do you mean? So let's say someone's giving like all this love, all this love, all yeah, this yeah. love, right? But then behind. I'm, I'm going to, I'm not assuming they love me like that. Oh, for real? Only because... I stay aware. See, that's not kind of dickhead, you know? No, no, but like, I get it though. Like, I don't want to sound like a dickhead, but like, I just stay aware of Damn. my surroundings. No, that. Not Bro, gonna... remember, when, okay, remember in high school? Mm-hmm. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Fam, I called it from the start. Like, mm-hmm. that guy's not the guy you want to be around. Yeah. And was I right? Yeah. Tell me, was I right? Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Straight up. Because I, I have. I have. I don't want to say I have a sense, but like yeah. I have, like I know what I'm. I'm looking for within people. Like I, I can see like, oh, he's gonna be like that. He's gonna act that way when this comes down. Yeah. I mean, like, I kind of think of those scenarios like as a as your character, as your personality. Will you do this? Will you do that? But I know that that's just me. Like studying people, I kind of get into that I stuff, guess. right? I was gonna say trust issues. Nah, I don't even have trust <laughs> nah, issues. Nah, nah. Nah, I don't have trust no, because like that's the same goes with me for like girls now. Cause, yeah, because I'm not. I'm that's not the tr- most important with girls. I'm, right? I'm not. I'm not trusting no. Like it's it's. That's hard. the most important. Now I can I went from that simp. Like there's a good simp and a bad simp. A, a bad simp is when you're changing for them. You're changing for them. Mm. You're doing whatever you want. Yeah. Oh shit. And and uh like the regular simp. You can do that nice stuff. That that's a good sim. Yeah. But like once once you get heartbroken, fam, and now you're just aware. You always have your guard up type thing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a diff. Like you're super aware of everything now. That's yeah. why I said to everyone, go get your heart broken, bro. It's probably the best thing that will happen to <laughs> you, bro. Because then you'll you're, you're aware. <laughs> nah, you so know many, it's true. It's so you're, true. You're so aware of stuff now that you would not you would even believe. It's so true though. Because a lot of people before they have that first relation, before they have that like first like love type yeah. of thing. Yeah. They're so blinded. Exactly. And they can't really see what they're in. Go get your heart broken, bro. I promise. It'll Honestly, it thing. is good. It is good. Because it really... That's that's taking yourself out of the most comfort. Oh you know God. you know when people say, break out of your comfort zone? Yeah. That's the most comfortable position you can be in. Yeah, And bro. breaking from that is like breaking from... Because you trust that person with like everything. Exactly. And you would never expect. Exactly. Bro, that's... But it takes it takes something like that for something great to flourish from, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just like everything. That's why I said, it, like some things are meant to happen so you have... Better. Exactly. Some things are meant to fail so that you can have a success with something else. Exactly. I, mean? I remember you told me, you told me uh, like, Gavin, don't worry. Just think about it as like, this may not be your best relationship. You may think of right now this is going to be your best relationship, but if you oh, deal with, yeah. with I said, more people, then maybe yeah, I, I said, I said, because you're only looking at it From as that one as this moment, yeah. But in a lifetime, yeah. that moment could mean something so little, exactly. And I was like, okay, like sure, that can be the best for, for this right moment, now, for, for right now, now for yeah. that right but now, exactly. That's a hundred percent fact. Yeah, just like you know, you know, The Rock. Yeah, he said. He was gonna go into NFL. He was he was set up to be a football player. Okay, but he didn't make it in the league, mm-hmm. so he ended up going to the WWE, uh-huh. and from the WWE he became a star. Yeah, yeah. Right now he was set on being an NFL player. He was set on being in football. Yeah. But the fact that he failed that uh-huh. gave him the opportunity to take on 
more opportunities. More opportunities. And like, look at it. You think he'll have more success as a football player or what he's doing now? Definitely what he's exactly. doing Exactly. So imagine he did stay on that other path. Yeah. So things are meant to happen. Things like that, like a failure like that mm -hmm. was meant for him to happen. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. It all works out, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Follow us everywhere tiktok instagram we'll leave it all in the all in the bio all right we're coming out with merch soon oh i want you guys to yes, put on sir. that bell um hit us up on instagram <laughs> like what you guys want to see on the merch yes sir and we'll we'll get it to you guys all right i'll see you all right. later, later. Deuces.